Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1803, the U.S. Congress accepts Ohio's Constitution, but statehood is not ratified for 150 more years. In 1807, in Alabama, former Vice President of the United States, Aaron Burr, is arrested and confined for treason. In 1846, the government of the Republic of Texas officially transfers power to the government of the state of Texas following the annexation of Texas by the United States. In 1847, the first group of rescuers reaches the Donner Party. A bit late, I would say. In 1852, the Pi Kappa Psi fraternity is founded at Jefferson College in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. In 1856, the tintype camera is patented by Hamilton Smith in Ohio. In 1859, New York Congressman Daniel Sickles is acquitted of murder on grounds of temporary insanity. This is the first time this defense is successfully used in the United States. In 1861, today Georgia joins South Carolina, Florida, Mississippi, and Alabama in seceding from the United States. In 1878, Thomas Edison patents the phonograph. In 1881, Kansas became the first U.S. state to include the prohibition of alcoholic beverages in its state constitution. In 1883, the first electric lighting system using overhead wires begins service at Roselle, New Jersey. In 1884, more than 60 tornadoes strike the southern United States today. It is referred to as the Enigma outbreak. In 1906, Will Keith Kellogg and Charles D. Bolin found the Battle Creek Toasted Corn Flake Company, which is now called Kellogg. In 1910, the English premiere of Richard Strauss's Electra was today. Also in 1910, Mary Mallon, also known as Typhoid Mary, is first freed from forced isolation and goes on to cause even more outbreaks of typhoid in the New York area. In 1913, today was the first time a prize was inserted into a Cracker Jack box. In 1914, four-year-old Charlotte May Piersdorf is mailed by her parents from their home to her grandparents' home 73 miles away. Don't laugh, this was pretty common for the era and was actually cheaper than a regular train ticket. In 1915, Georges Claude patents neon lights. What would Vegas have done if he hadn't? In 1917, 73 are killed and 400 injured in an explosion in a munitions plant in London. In 1920, the United States Senate votes against joining the League of Nations. In 1922, Ed Wynn becomes the first person to sign on as a radio entertainer. In 1932, William Faulkner completes his novel Light in August. In 1934, the U.S. Contract Airmail Service is canceled and is replaced by the U.S. Army for the next six months. In 1937, Howard Hughes sets a new air record by flying from Los Angeles, California to New York City in 7 hours, 28 minutes, 25 seconds. In 1942, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed the executive order for the internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. Also in 1942, nearly 250 Japanese warplanes attack the northern Australian city of Darwin, killing 243 people. And another in 1942, the New York Yankees announced that 5,000 uniformed soldiers will be admitted free to each of their upcoming home games. In 1944, 823 British bombers attack Berlin. In 1945, U.S. troops land on the Japanese island of Iwo Jima. Also in 1945, Soviet forces liberate the Litzmannstadt ghetto. Five years earlier, it had 200,000 inhabitants. When the Soviets liberated the area, only 900 had survived the Nazi occupation. In 1945 as well, 980 Japanese soldiers were reportedly killed by crocodiles within two days after taking Burma. In 1950, the groundbreaking ceremony is held for Mississippi Vocational College, which is later called Mississippi Valley State University. In 1952, American defending champion Dick Button becomes the first figure skater to land a triple jump in competition. In 1953, 72% of all television sets in the United States are tuned into I Love Lucy to watch Lucy Ricardo 
go to the hospital to give birth. Also in 1953, Georgia approves the first literature censorship board in the United States. In 1957, Austrian singer Falco is born today. He is best known for his songs Rock Me Amadeus and Der Commissar. In 1958, wildly popular singer-songwriter Carl Perkins leaves Sun Records for Columbia Records. In 1960, Bill Keane's family circus cartoon strip debuts today. In 1963, English singer Seal is born today. It is several years before he will marry Heidi Klum. Also in 1963, the publication of Betty Friedan's The Feminine Mystique reawakens the feminist movement in the United States. In 1964, the UK flies a half a ton of Beatles wigs to the United States. Yes, wigs to make you look like one of the Beatles. In 1965, the NFL adds a sixth official the line judge. In 1968, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood debuts on NET, which we now call PBS. In 1971, Paul McCartney releases his song, Another Day. Also in 1971, the progressive rock band Yes released their breakthrough third album, simply called The Yes Album. In 1972, Harry Nielsen's song, Without You, begins a four-week run at the top of the charts. English band Badfinger originally did the song in 1970, and Mariah Carey covered it again in 1994. In 1973, Tie a Yellow Ribbon is released by Dawn featuring Tony Orlando and becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1974, the first American Music Awards air today. Helen Reddy and Jim Croce win big. In 1976, Executive Order 9066 which led to the relocation of Japanese Americans to internment camps, is finally rescinded by President Gerald R. Ford. In 1977, snow falls in Miami, Florida for the first time ever. That is crazy enough, but snow also fell in the Bahamas on that same day. In 1981, the United States and Iranian officials signed an agreement that Iran will release 52 American hostages after 14 months of captivity. Also in 1981, George Harrison is ordered to pay $587,000 for plagiarizing parts of Ronnie Mack's song, He's So Fine, on his song, My Sweet Lord. In 1983, Nazi war criminal Klaus Barbie is arrested in Bolivia. Also in 1983, the Apple Lisa, the first commercial personal computer from Apple Incorporated to have a computer mouse, is announced. In 1985, Iberia Airlines Flight 610 crashes, killing all 148 on board. Also in 1985, artificial heart recipient William Schroeder becomes the first artificial heart recipient to successfully leave the hospital. And again in 1985, Cherry Coke is introduced by Coca-Cola. In 1986, the Soviet Mir space station is launched and stays in space for 15 years. Also in 1986, the first IBM PC computer virus, called Brain, is released into the wild. In 1987, a Minnesota Sheriff's Office arrests the FBI's most wanted, Thomas G. Harrelson. In 1991, Geffen Records releases Night Ride Home, Canadian singer-songwriter Joni Mitchell's 14th studio album. In 1992, Ken Ludwig's musical Crazy For You opens at the Schubert Theater in New York City and lasts for 1,622 performances. In 1993, Happy Nation, the debut album by Ace of Bass, is released. In 1998, the U.S. hockey team destroys their rooms at the Olympic Village in Japan. Really classy, guys. In 1999, British Aerospace agrees to acquire the defense subsidiary of the General Electric Company, forming BAE Systems. In 2002, NASA's Mars Odyssey space probe begins mapping the surface of Mars. In 2004, Nazi hunter Simon Wiesenthal is awarded an honorary knighthood in recognition of his lifetime of service to humanity. In 2006, a methane explosion in a coal mine in Mexico kills 65 miners. In 2007, website Tumblr is founded by David Karp in New York. In 2008, Fidel Castro steps down as Cuba's president after 49 years. Also in 2008, Toshiba throws in the towel on its HD DVD video format, ending the war with Sony's Blu-ray disc. 
That's probably good because I imagine Sony was still mad about that whole VHS versus beta thing. In 2012, the Hong Kong based file sharing website Mega Upload is shut down by the FBI. In 2016, American author Harper Lee, who was nationally acclaimed for her first novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, died at age 89. In 2018, Nigeria says 110 girls are missing, presumed kidnapped by Boko Haram. In 2019, German fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld passes away today. He was the reason for the revival of Chanel. Also in 2019, to limit racial stereotyping, New York City bans hair discrimination. Also in 2019, the Vatican confirms there are secret church guidelines for children of priests. And in 2019 as well, four-time MLB All-Star Manny Mikado signs the biggest free agent contract in American sports history, a 10-year deal worth $300 million with the San Diego Padres. And lastly, in 2021, the United States officially rejoins the Paris Agreement 107 days after leaving. Speaking of Paris, you should watch more of my videos. 